hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide how are you sending you the purest of love and light we are blessed protected highly favored and god is for us i haven't done one of these messages in a while but um i think late last week i was cleaning up and you won't believe it but i found a handwritten letter from one of my grandmothers since 2001 and the thing about it is that I I don't know I didn't see that mail I did not see it so I mean this is deep deep cleaning and yes I I am a work in progress as well I yeah I grew up with my grandparents and like they say sometimes they're pack rats and I guess I kind of get a little bit of that I love to hold on to little things you know mementos or just it takes a minute for me sometimes so yeah so going through and just going through everything thoroughly I came across the seal envelope and let me tell you it was it, it felt like Christmas it's one of those have you ever been like cleaning and you find something and you pull over you you take a seat somewhere for a moment to take it in to look at this thing or you you come up on a picture and you stop to really examine it yes that was me and so I couldn't wait to rip the envelope off and it was like getting a message in a bottle again really hello from the other side and it was just really really you know just exciting so yeah she wrote me this letter like May 28th 2001 she called me by my pet name and at that time my grandfather they were still alive so she was telling me that they were still not doing too bad they were able to move, move around move around the yard you know but they can't really go anywhere and all of that and uh, it was just like wow she was i mean i can't explain it to you it's and she was telling me to say hello to everybody um you know say hi to my mom and my dad and all of that stuff again at the time my mom was alive too and now she's on the other side so it's just amazing how you know these little things so i'm like why not let's do a message as well and for those of you who have been going through this my sincere condolence to you i know it's not easy it's a daily daily minute hourly thing some days are better than others but i know and you know but it takes a while going through those process and grieving for everybody it's different so don't let anybody rush you and say oh i thought you were over so and so who feels it knows it and again it doesn't mean that it could even be a parent but every child has a different relationship with their parent so some are going to feel it more than others as well some some won't care you know some some people they don't care they won't care but then you're gonna have some some of you some of us it's it's different it hits different so the first card that came up here it says angels so this is what you need to know you know you have angels we have our angels in the spiritual realm they're watching over us they're protecting us and i know for a lot of you a lot of us as a way of also consoling ourselves we you know we we will say we have our ancestors we have them as angels too on the other side to watch over us as well so this is what you need to know you're not alone you are protected for for and so if you're going through anything right now you're protected for some of you we could be talking about a spouse you know they're watching over you looking out for you as well 
For some of you, you probably love to go out in nature when this person was alive. A tree, you know, talk about somebody who is strong. This is a very tall tree as well, very sturdy. So this person could have been like a, a real, a structure, a pillar in, in the family, a community, somebody that people could rely on, they could lean on this person as well and when i look at all the the rays of the sun coming through this person was a joy a delight a pleasure uh to be around as well it's like they give you shade you know and they protect you from the sun but at the same time they were able to still open up where they could share their knowledge their wisdom their guidance with you as well yeah, this person could have been very wise, different, a unicorn, you know, somebody who is chosen. They were not somebody to fit in the mold. They stood out. Maybe could have dressed very unique as well, very different. They didn't follow trends, you know, either. They were very much themselves. And they knew they were different, but they weren't trying to fit in with other people as well wow so for messages that they may want you to know for some of you is take time to play and explore because it's like you're protected and some of you may have been grieving for so long or you know however maybe you're not coping well with it but they want you to take time to play it's kind of like life is short even if, say, they're whatever, they pass away. But if you live five, ten years, you're going to end up going on the other side too. So it's kind of like, okay, live your life. Have some fun. I know you miss me. But then at the same time, very soon we will meet again. But while you're here, make the best of it. Make the best of it. This person could have been an animal lover as well. Animals are man's best friend. So this person could, you maybe have a dog, have a pet too. Or this spouse could have um, had a, a dog. Mm -hmm. Never compromise. So this could have been somebody who was very strict. You know, they don't cave in, they don't give in. And it's like, this is something they're telling you as well. When it comes to your morals, your values, the partner, the spouse you need to choose, don't compromise. Don't sell yourself short. It's like you deserve the best. Because maybe this person, if you are the surviving or the living spouse, they know that you are a great person. You have a big heart. And it's like, don't sell yourself short just because you're lonely. You know, make sure that whomever you're getting, they, you know, they're they're up to par with you as well. Because this person was very, very confident. They know what they wanted. They were go-getters as well. And they want you to be just like that. Be bold, be brave, be courageous, be courageous. And here, love yourself. You're worth it. This is what your ancestor is telling you, our ancestors. They're telling you, again, could be this person, like I said, a very strong person, a pillar in, in the family who love themselves, took care of themselves. And it's like they want to tell you the same thing. Love yourself. You're worth it. It's like treat yourself. Maybe for some of you, even if you had to help to take care of this person before they pass, you gave up a lot. You weren't doing much for yourself. And now they're like, okay, it's like I pass away so you can have some life. You know, it's like now you can breathe. Now you can live, travel, you know, do the things that you always want to do. Do the things that we spoke about. It's like even if you weren't able to finish with this person, Maybe they were very classic, see Elizabeth Taylor, you know, somebody who loved the fine things, 
in life love jewelry love to dress up as well and like i saw with the sun you know this this person was very confident very bold very brave stood out in a crowd as well and now they want you to live your life live your life and play dance and sing so again is it like and that's George Michael. It's saying, you know, it's like, even if you may come off as different, but it's like, live your life, be authentic. Don't dim to fit in. Don't play it small. So this person, again, they were different. And they were proud of who they are. And it's like, they're telling you to do this, the same thing. Play, sing, dance, whatever you want to do. It's your life, you know, make use of what you have. And here we have Harry Houdini at the back, always trust your gut. So this person, they want you to know to trust your intuition when it comes to people around you as well. Uh, be careful of the people you're allowing in your company because you may have people who want to see you trapped. This kind of remind me of like, the Eight of Swords want you to be in bondage. You may have some people around you who are not honest with you at this time. And we have the angel card there. So your angels are looking out for you. But at the same time, there are things that you need to do on your end as well. So that, you know, here on earth, you need to wise up. Always trust your gut. It's not even sometimes trust your gut. It's always. If something feels off, if it doesn't feel good, then that it is what it is. That's confirmation. That's probably, I mean, not probably, but that is a message that you're getting from God. That something is not right. So you need to do that. Yeah. And here we have see signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending us or sending me reminders of your presence. So again, we have angels. So some of you, you may be seeing feathers as well, you know, but signs, divine is sending you signs from heaven. You know, you look up, you may look at the cloud, just you're going about your day and then you just look up and you see something that reminds you of somebody it looks like the shape of a face it looks like the shape of an angel something but look for look for the signs look for the signs so your angels are also giving you signs on who to trust who not to trust as well but they want you to live they don't want you to compromise they want you to love yourself yeah, this person was probably a peaceful warrior as well. Uh, the spouse, you know, it's like very strong. Come, it's like come, come in peace, but prepare for war. Yeah, open your heart. You know, so when it comes to love, giving love, receiving love, open your heart as well. For some of you, you know, this change or this transition it was not easy for you it would uh, and it's still not easy for you to accept but again it's like they want you to live your life they don't want you to be stuck grieving mourning see it says take time to breathe like i said before maybe some of you were caregivers for family member a family member who before they pass away and it's like them leaving it's almost like they're saying, okay, it's now time for you to live. Because they realize that you made a lot of sacrifice to take care of them. So it's like, now go take a vacation. Go travel a little bit. Go do some self-care for you. Don't just sit around and grieve for me. Yeah, it says, I love when we went for long rides. So some of you, you probably... Maybe riding horse or just car rides. You love to go for long rides when this person was around. This person could have been very playful as well. It says your ancestors are celebrating you. Awesome. So yeah, so for some of you, 
you're breaking curses, you're doing things that, you know, other ancestors were not able to do. And so right now, they're applauding you. And again, we have angels there. So they want you to know that we see, that they see what you're doing. Is that what I said? We see, yeah, it's like, yeah, they want you to know that they see what you're doing and they're proud of you. They're cheering you on. They're rooting you on. For some of you, you could be a water sign. Yeah, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, or this person could be. Yeah, see, we're working behind the scene to bring you justice. Yeah, they're here for you. They're here for you. And look, like I said, the spouse, it says here, wedding vow, till death do we part is not true. I love you eternally. And this is why they're saying don't compromise as well. You know, it's like, don't settle. Don't settle. I know you miss me, but your soul tribe is coming. Awesome. Awesome. I love that. I enjoyed my homegoing service. Thank you. So they enjoyed the service, the way everything was carried out in the funeral. For some of you, we could be talking about a nephew. And look, it says, take care of yourself. I can't make it up. Take care of yourself. For some of you, it's a sister. And here it says, go after your goals. Absolutely. I've, I think I've been mentioning that. It's like, go be the best version of yourself. Don't settle. Live your life. Because it's not as if we are not going to die at some point. So it's like, while you're here, because we'll meet again, you know, enjoy, you know, make the best of this side until we meet again. That's, that's what I'm, I'm getting here. I broke the deck in, in two and it says here, I am your biggest cheerleader. Wow. And we see here, they are celebrating you. So whomever this person is, this family member or loved one of yours, they are cheering, they are cheering you on. And that's awesome. Look, it says, I broke the deck here, and it says mountain, you are supported. So for some of you, you may be going through some hardships, ups and downs right now, uh, mountains, obstacles in your way, and it says you are supported. So they're supporting you. They're, you know, right behind you. You have angels as well, you know, who, who are looking out for you. So I love that. I see familiar. So this is somebody with a close bond. It's a bond with your spirit animal. So again, you could see, look out for the signs and synchronicity. You could see birds, feathers. But this person, familiar, you know, familiar spirit. This is somebody you know, you have a close relationship with look your wings reveal express the real you i'm telling you this person wants you to be authentic see with the unicorn you're an earth angel you know it's like don't be afraid to let people see your wings for a lot of you you have been covering up who you are and and it's like maybe this person because like when i spoke about the trees earlier this person they were able to, you know, like give you protection, guidance, but yet still give enough room, space to give you insight, give you advice. And this person could have known that you have certain gifts and talents and you're holding yourself back as well as maybe you are revealing yourself. And because of that, you're breaking those generational curses. And this is why they're celebrating you and they are your biggest cheerleader. So if you are doing those things, or if you have done that, you need to know that, yes, they're cheering you on, they're celebrating you as well. And they want you to shine. They want you to shine, make yourself be seen Yes, and some of you, you're probably doing this, you know, with the light here. So some of you, you're light workers, you're healers, and whether you have channels or not, but you're called to be the light, see, in the dark, to guide others. And this is why, like I said, those cards with the wisdom, you're very wise. This person could have been very wise as well, and they shared a lot of insight, maybe... 
by society standard they were a little quirky didn't fit in but they did not care it's like they love they were authentic to themselves and this is why they are encouraging you to also tap into that side of you because it's like don't be afraid to be different don't be afraid to be different see at the back it says green and you're in you're natural so you are natural, whatever you do. I mean, look, look at all the plants growing out of, of her, you know? So it's like you, you are able to flourish. Things come naturally to you. And this person, they know this about you. And like I said, this is your time to flourish. This is your time to shine. And they're rooting you on, they're cheering you, and they're supporting supporting you as you live your best life. Because they want you to do this. Wow, I love it. I love it for you. I love it for us. Until next time, take care and be blessed.